Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make um, an, uh, an office for, you know, um, a uh, any kind of house. I mean, you can change up the blocks a little. And also a cubicle for, you know, office buildings and stuff. But you can instantly see here that I don't really need to do a tutorial on this, so I'll just go over, you know, most of the shapes and stuff you will need. But for this one, I will be recreating. You will need some blocks, like, as you see here, you'll need to do this in 1.9 if you want the printer. But if you don't, you can do it in 1.8 or um, 1.7.9 or whatever you want to use. Um, but the dragon egg, you will need some commands. The barrier, you will need some commands. I'll show you, show you that when I get to it. So first, let's figure out how wide you want this, if you want to make it exactly as mine. Um, make it, make it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tall. And then, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then, pile up these blocks again. Then what you're going to do is you're going to spread it back um, by this one, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to spread it back six and go along. Spread this back by six and join. Now uh, let's bring up the walls. Work on the walls and the roof first. And um, I'm only limited to a short amount of videos, so I might have to show you the cubicles in a separate video. Um, I think I'll do that. I mean, it's better so then I can show you more detail to go into more detail. And um, yeah. Um, sorry, I haven't uploaded many of my things in a long time. Like. If, like by the time you're watching this video, I would have been able to upload my upload that uh, upload my um, other tutorials, but I but I've been keeping them for you for a while now. That's because I've only been doing my geometry dash videos, and I mean I've made them. I have like um, two others, the uh, the ones you might have seen by now, the um, pool table and the tables and the walk-in closet that you see right here in the little tables and tables um and yeah I mean I have many other tutorials that are going to be coming your way but for right now this is what I'm limited to I really want to get more tutorials um, in for you guys um if you know what I mean I want you guys to uh to you know be happy and I want to make you guys happy and I want to um you know, yeah. First, let's do the floor. Basically, what you'll need, um, for what we're doing right now, is you'll need the spruce, oak wood, oak wood slab. Sorry, not oak wood, spruce wood slab. Um, oops. And where is that? All right, and uh, spruce wood stairs is all you'll kind of need. So, but yeah, like I was saying, I really want to get these tutorials in for you guys because I know um, that, I mean, there's a lot of tutorials on the internet. I mean, I know, but for my subscribers and for you guys, um, I, you know, just want to make you guys some tutorials. And um, I think I... We'll be able to do at least a couple every week. Um, if I can't, I'm sorry. Uh, sometimes I'm a bit busy um, with things and I, you know, have a lot of things to catch up with, um, especially with school. Um, so I might be able to at least do a couple on school days and a couple on weekends, maybe even more on weekends. But you're going to go in by one, so just don't do anything on this one, Blair. Go in and kind of like make yourself a little invisible circle that like kind of like a big C. 
do not do anything with this um this row this column and this column you see they have nothing on them what you're going to do is you're going to place stair right here or any kind of block right here and you're going to place an upside down stair on the end of it Oops. and break these As you see here, I have the desk outstretched, so what you'll need now is your spruce wood slab. Sorry if I keep going back and forth, because um, I, I, I just built this like yesterday, so I kind of, kind of am like, ah! So right now, you're just going to build a regular desk, so you're going to put this right here, this right there, this right here, and this right there. I'm going to build this across. Of this. Um, then you're gonna bring this back again. You're gonna connect this with this with um stuff. And this is your desk done, but if you want it, it looks like it's kind of floating, right? So if you want to add more support, you know, like all that kind of stuff, put this right there, put this right there, put this right there, and, um, yeah. So that's kind of all for the desk, except you're going to raise this back layer by a slab. And let's get some light in here. So what you're going to need for this is, um, I mean, you could use a command block, but I think it's easier to use this command. So you're going to do slash give your name. You're going to do dra dragon, or at least type in dragon, then press tab. Then you're going to press it again for egg. Um, um, dragon breath doesn't work. It's just like the new, just don't worry about dragon breath. That's the new potion that they added in 1.9. I don't know if it does anything. Um, but yeah, you get the dragon egg and um, use me, piggy. Get out of my office. Get out of my office. Oh, why? Why now? Just because I kill a pig, you, you, you're gonna, gonna make, you're gonna make it rain. Gonna make it, make it rain. Um. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna place this wherever you want. For my idea, you're gonna put it right here, um, leaving this row, this row. Oops, sorry. This row and this column, and this column, kind of like a tinier C in um in here. So what you're going to do is you're going to place that there. And what you'll need to make the lantern, um, you're going to need a sea lantern or you can use the glowstone. Remember, shift, because if you just right click on it, oh no, where to go? Oh. So you don't want to do that. Um, I mean, if you were building this in survival, I don't know what you would do. Um, at least, uh, you can cheat a little bit or you can, you know, Go ahead and uh, just use something else, um, like a piece of glowstone or a torch or whatever. I mean, even though this looks a bit cooler, you're limited to what you're limited, right? So you're going to do this, and for some reason um, it didn't work, so I'm going to have to use a barrier. You get this by slash give, projecto, bear, and then it instantly gives you the barrier. And for some reason it didn't work so I had to put a barrier here. Um, a barrier, if you don't know what barriers are, they're um, basically an invisible block. Um, so when you look at it, it's just a simple thing. We're also going to use that for the ceiling fan, which I can show you quickly now. You see it looks like the ceiling fan is just floating, um, but no, um, it's actually not. Um, So I'm going to just take that out, um, and what you're going to do is you're going to put this, like, right in, like, right in front of your computer. So you have your computer here, you go up, and then you go up by one, and then, uh, that's where your thing's going to be. So, if you look from here, it's going to be right on this block here. So, if I follow this up...
creator would be right here and the fan would be right here. You would put that right there. And then the thing is, yeah, I know I know this doesn't look really right, but you got to put barriers. And remember, shift, if you don't, we'll just open. So you got to shift. Then you put any kind of carpet. I'm using um, white for the uh, typical fan. And yeah, there you go. And for the printer, it was kind of a hard um, thing. Let me just break this here so you can see. Uh, it was kind of like this where you had a um, torch in the back. Hold on, where did I, where did I even put that torch? You put the torch back here, but that's how I got that. So if we put this back. Uh, put it, break all that, and then, or at least wherever you want it, and put the torch right there. Once again, I said you have to be in 1.9 to do this. Um, you don't have to. I mean, you can put whatever else you want here. Put that down, and then what you're going to do is you're going to need stone slab. The reason why you had to put a torch here was because then it would light up the banner. If not, the banner would just go black because, um because of, you know, there's a block onto it casting a shadow. Um, so yeah, I mean, you can add paintings in the background if you wanted to, but I'm not going to do that since, I mean, it's kind of optional. And what you're going to do for this chair is what you're going to need is a spruce door, spruce wood slab, and signs. Um, I mean, it depends on the color scheme. If you're using oak and birch, I would recommend using an an oak door or a birch door or you know it just match it match the door put the color scheme if you can I mean um, and you could just do a regular stair um, for a chair well, well I didn't mean to rhyme there people and um, yeah so that's kind of all um, and I think I'll do a separate one on the cubicles but I can just quickly go over them it's basically slabs going out this shape you could pause the video if you need to um, right here and then you just have a stair and then a computer and a mouse. Oh, I forgot the most important part, the mouse, yeah. Um, take a button. Once again, if you wanted a mouse, you would have to do this with 1.9 where you can place buttons on a thing. And that is kind of it. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, um, please leave a like and subscribe. And um, I guess I will see you next time. Bye.